Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy and welcome to the uh, Daisy Dr. Jones Trader um, that I've uh, created for Namalsk. Now this is a really nice little small um, trader. It's up at the airfield in central Namalsk, but it's got all the usual suspects in terms of uh, what you'd expect from Dr. Jones. We've got the, um, there's the vehicle uh, seller, um, and vehicles spawn in those cones there. We can sell them back to him. Um, there is the lady that sells you all the food. There's the lady that sells you sort of all the hardware and sundries and that sort of thing. And then in this tent, we have the guy that sells you the guns. And then the um, guy that sells you the ammo and the bits for guns. And then in this tent, we have the uh, lady who sells you all the clothes. Um, and I will be doing a version of this that has that integrates Red Falcon's helis as well. So I'll have a heli trader there, and then the helis will spawn there, as you can see. <laughs> There's a couple of uh, helis sitting over there. I've got a couple of barrels to kind of keep you warm. I didn't bother putting a water pump here. But let's um, let's just jump into the air to give you a slightly better look. There we go. So as you can see, oh, a couple of toilets as well. Again, as you know, you can't have enough toilets. So so there we've got the toilets. Right, okay, so let me show you how you install this on your server. So what you'll want to make sure is that you have Trader installed on your Namal server. And especially you've followed the instructions about adding uh, things like the rubles to um, the type that XML for your Namal server. Um, and generally go through the instructions. I'll put links to all these sites at the bottom of the video. Um, and you'll also want to have, obviously, Namalsk Survival and Namalsk Island installed as well. So they're all good to go. Um, and then you'll want to head over to my GitHub repository. Again, I'll put a link in the description below the video. Um, and what I've included here is you've got... Um, let's have a look. Dun, 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 dun. You've got the uh, README, which has kind of got the instructions. Um, and then you've got the trader objects.txt file. Now, all you need to do is upload that to the config folder, the trader config folder in your server's profiles folder, and then restart the server, and that will create the server. And if you're just thinking, oh, what are you talking about, Rob? So <laughs> if you click on the code button, click on download zip, you'll get all of these. And there's basically, you know, there's some photos that show you, you know, what the trader looks like that sort of thing um and then you've got the um readme which is which is just the instructions and the trader objects.txt is a config file that has basically it tells the trader where the traders are who the traders are and all the objects that should be around there so on your server in the cloud or your local server on your PC, you kind of do this. Now, this is my local server, but the file structure is the same. So you, get, you FTP in, maybe using FileZilla or something like that, FTP into your um, server on the web, and this will be the kind of the root directory. It's the one with all the uh, mods sitting there, you know, with the ats all there. And then you're looking for the config file. Now, the com sorry, config folder. Now, the config folder isn't necessarily called config. It could be called config, it could be called profile, it could be called settings, it can be called all manner of things. But it will be in this sort of general location. And when you go inside it, you'll see extra folders for most of your mods. So these are all the settings folders or the config folders for your mods. And you'll see um, the trader one. So if you go into the trader one, you'll see these are all the trader um, config files, so trader admins, trader config, trader objects, etc. So we want to upload using FTP or the web browser for your server, the trader objects one. Now, before you do that, if you rename the existing one to trader objects Chernus or trader objects Livonia or something else, so you've got a backup, upload the other one and then restart the server um, and then the, 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 uh, the base will appear um, on the airfield at... Um, on the mask however just do also bear in mind that i'm not including a trader config um, file so what that means is um when you go and chat to the traders let's go and do that now they'll only have 
Uh, let's have a look. Who's the clothing lady? Let's go around here. So she'll only have um, regular um, Daisy stuff. So any of the special white clothing um, or anything that's uh, Namalsk specific, like the key cards and things like that, they won't have access to. Um, if you want to include those, what you would have to do is go into the trader config uh, .txt file and add the things for Namalsk. However, most of the things, I, I don't think you really need to bother because the reason why you come to a trader is you know is to get the basics, get food supplies, get building supplies, all that sort of stuff. Um, and the cool thing about Namalsk and doing the Namalsk story is finding things like the key cards to get yourself into the different places. So I, I wouldn't sweat it too much. Um, I would say that's um, pretty good. So there we go, my Namalsk trader, free to download, free to give it a go. If there's any bugs, just report to me, uh, scalespeed at gmail.com. And if you found this useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.